Yes, my name is Bench and welcome to another After Effects tutorial. In this episode, we're going to be looking at how to create this sort of look that I created for one of the recent lyric videos that I worked on. If you want to check it out, you can click it here. Otherwise, we'll be jumping right on into After Effects on how to create this sort of look and talk about ways that you can customize it to get the look that you want, depending on what you want to use it for. So we're in a brand new project and we'll create a new composition. For us, we're going to do it at 1920 by 1080, as you can see there, and we're going to do 25 frames per second. You don't have to do it at that resolution or at that frame rate. You just do what is comfortable for wherever you're going to be using it. But we'll do 30 seconds for now and we'll hit OK. So first things first, we use some nice spacey images. Uh, you can see here in my folder, I have a whole heap of them. You can download these for free from peopleimages.com. The link will be in the description below, but they're all here. There's some really cool ones that are all uh, being able, made available to you for free for commercial purposes and a whole heap of different things. So what I'm going to do is in my folder, I'm just going to pick one. I'll pick this one and drag it over. And I might grab one more, say, let's do the galaxy and drag that over as well. So we've got a couple images now to work with. We'll drag the first one into our composition like so. You'll see it's quite large. Uh, they're nice high definition images compared to everything, uh, compared to the size of our composition. So we're going to shrink them down. So we'll click on the corner pin, little square, and hold shift. So we scale it down to something a bit more like so. We want to give some space around our edges because we want to be able to move this left and right to animate it. So now we've created, uh, or dropped our image in, we're going to just go to Effects, Color Correction, and we will go to Curves, just there. And we're going to just darken this a little bit. Now we will go and create a new adjustment layer, and we'll do all the different effects on adjustment layers, and that way we can easily swap out the image or layer images together to get some really cool effects. So for this first adjustment layer, we'll call it Color tweak and we'll go to effects color correction and colorama now colorama is a great little effect it has all these different options and you can apply it in many different ways but we'll go to ramp blue and we're just going to adjust some things so we'll click on uh, let's refer to them as time uh so what's that two o'clock and we're going to add in like a, a deep blue We'll go to around three o'clock or four o'clock and add in this sort of purpley color like so. We'll go around to almost nine o'clock and we'll add in a very nice cyan and then we'll double click on the blue one that comes preset with the ramp gray and we'll go for quite a light cyan like so. So you see we got this very sort of uh, oversaturated image and that's because the next layer needs a bit more variations in the color otherwise it gets a bit too dark so we'll create another adjustment layer hit enter and we're going to call this one our color setting and this one is going to set the color and basically the mood of the atmosphere for this particular frame so we'll go to effect generate ramp and you'll see here we've dropped it on and then we'll select for the black color. We're going to select like a, a red. And then for the, the white, we'll go to like a pink. So we're just selecting a couple tones that are quite close to each other, like so. And we can even zoom out and you'll see here we've got our little points available to us, which set the start and the end of a ramp. And we're going to drag the start of a ramp up a little bit. And we'll drag the uh, end of a ramp down a little bit. And this makes this gradient ramp sort of color change a bit less uh, strong in the middle. It's a lot more um, soft. Now on the same adjustment layer, we're going to then select Effect, Color Correction, uh, Color Balance, HLS. And this is just going to let us um, set the hue like so. You could also select Effect, Color Correction, uh, I think it's also here, Hue and Saturation. And it'll do the same thing. You just got to, whichever one you're using, if you're using color balance, you need to, going to need to check box the hue stopwatch. And for hue and saturation, it's the channel range. Either one will work fine. 
So there we go. Let's drag this around until we get sort of a softer color for now. And then down in the mode, down the bottom here, you can see color setting and mode. We want to select hue. And that changes our blending mode. So you'll see there we go. And then we can adjust this a bit more to see that sort of variance like so. And if we want it a bit stronger, we can always go into these colors and just adjust how far away these two colors are from each other. Or even bring the, the ramp in a bit if, say, we want a bit more blue, a little less green, like so. All right, now time for our final adjustment layer. So this one is going to be our light rays adjustment layer. So we'll go to Effect. We'll go to Generate Light Rays. And you'll see here it gives us this little point that we can drag around. Kind of has this light ray looking thing. So we're going to put it in the middle. If you're not sure where the middle is, we can always go up to center and we'll type 1920 uh, divided by 2. And we'll do 1080 divided by 2. And there we go. Our point's in the middle. And now for intensity, we're going to drop the intensity down to about half but we want to bump the radius quite a bit up and you'll see there we start to get the uh, the effect that's quite familiar for us with this and we're going to drop the softness down so it's a bit more intense and there we have it and now we can drag our image around here so selecting the image layer and dragging it around and you can see we get this really cool sort of flying into the center look we could even rotate this or scale this if we wanted to. My advice with scaling would be creating a new null object that then you parent your image to because you want to always scale in the middle or at least scale where your light rays are coming from. Otherwise it will look a bit weird because you're kind of crossing paths. You can see there as I scale as my image center is off center it looks a little weird, but if I scale with the null, it looks a lot smoother and I can go to my position and hit the, uh, the stopwatch so I can set a keyframe. I'll go forward to the end, move my, my frame to the other side and you can see I get that movement there. And then I'll go to the null, hit it on the scale and we can zoom it in a bit as well, like so. And you can see if we preview that, we get a very cool looking sort of change. Now, if we also want to change the color as we go, we can go to the color setting and go to color balance and check box, uh, check the um, stopwatch for hue. And then we can go forward to wherever we want it to change to. And we can just cycle through the hue to get to whichever color we want. And you can see there we get that cool sort of transition happening like so. Now, if you're finding this is a bit too bright, we can always go into the, the images, um, into the curves and drag that down or up just to make it softer or more intense, depending on what you want to do. And we can also increase the light rays or decrease them if we're finding that they're a bit too overwhelming or you want to see a bit more of them. Again, you can also change the warp softness to get some, some cool, if you want to get some really sharp beams coming through there, or just really sort of subtle, or less intense rather, ones as well. The other thing we can do is also grab our other image. In this case, we have our galaxy, and we'll scale that down by hitting S and scaling. We'll shift it to the side so it's not so intense. And we can actually go to our mode down the bottom and select screen. And that'll overlay it on top. And then we can pick whip it, um, parent it to the image below so that they both move together. But I'm still going to go into the position. I'm just going to go forward to my end and move the position a little bit. And that'll give you some interesting parallaxing sort of effects as well. And for this as well, we can add in a 
curves just to drop the intensity a bit so it's not as in your face and you can see there we get some really interesting parallaxing sort of images and so on and so forth so there's a lot of variations that you can do in this sort of style one thing i will also mention is that because of the way the light rays work rotating you don't really get any different effects you can add it onto existing ones but if uh, if you want to get some some cool looks rotation isn't necessarily the only one you want to do you want to have it at least scaling or changing position in order to get that really cool effect but there you have it that's how you get this really cool sort of space light rays look here in after effects and with some simple text and some uh, atmospheric music you can make quite a emotive scene and then you can see adding additional images on top and just uh, parenting them and then adjusting the position gets you some really interesting sort of parallaxing imagery happening as well well that's it for this after effects tutorial check out the channel for more great tutorials for the adobe range until next time my name is ben shen thanks for watching